Manso. And his mistake, putting Beardsley in possession, the sort of run at defenders that Peter Beardsley enjoys, but he needs help now. It comes from Hoddle, and Hakely coming in. An early cross that he would have appreciated. But the American referee, Vincent Mauro, had a good look at Hakely's jump. The crowd basking in the sunshine, and this was the goal mouth action that they saw after the mistake by Manso. A lovely early ball by Hoddle, who's been praised by Bobby Robson for his passing this week. Wilkins in attendance. And Robson lurking slightly to the left. And Stanson perhaps poised for a late arrival. But it's set up for Hoddle. And the goalkeeper perhaps making a meal of the save. Larios very much in the right position for it. Flinging his legs back spectacularly to help it over the top. He'd been disappointed if that had gone in. And England's marking is slack as it's rolled for Sevin. Emocio and Wilson just crossed it aside. The danger not over yet. And it was Felix Cruz who had two bites added on the far side. The linesman now flagging. But England was slack at the original set piece. Allowing Sevin to have the shot. And then... A sharp turn here from Emma Seo. An excellent shot on the turn, matched by Shilton's save. And the free kick again goes England's way. Waddle. And Hately! England have scored! Mark Hately! In the 22nd minute, it's Hately's first goal for almost a year, and it came from an early cross, and he torpedoed himself forward. He was feared by Mexico a year ago, and he exploits perhaps a traditional weakness of Mexico in the air. Negrete again, the set-piece expert. And Shilton there before Emocio. Trejo with a complete miscue, but it turned out for Flores to be a pass that carried some menace for England. More than a touch of luck about it. With half an hour gone, Shilton solidly through the pack to get his fist to the ball and Trejo the right back was lurking for such an eventuality and dragged his attempted shot it ran on for Flores who couldn't hit the target all the England midfield players in that instant have got themselves ahead of the ball which is a sign of their confidence here's Beardsley Waddle's coming on the far side and Hakely looking to jump again 2-0 for England and two for Hakley. Well, you can talk about varying your style for particular conditions that will be prevalent in Mexico, but the old-fashioned England direct threat still carries some weight. The deep cross to the far post. And no lack of support for England in the Coliseum. And they're delighted with what they're seeing. Here's Beardsley. It's three. And Peter Beardsley gets off the mark for England. A good first half is turning into a marvellous one. Beardsley finishing with great confidence. And Mexico here in some disarray. They tried to play offside. And Beardsley was too cute for that. And 
Anderson doing the defending. Negrete! It was a wonderfully athletic effort. He had no right to get his shot on target. The cross from Francisco Cruz was way behind Negrete. And that's Latin extravagance for you. And that's excellent English goalkeeping for you. A corner for Mexico. Felix Cruz has come forward, the centre-back. And Shilton missed it, but fortune favours England there. It rolled straight back to Shilton off Kirate, who the England players felt left to put in as he went to challenge, and suddenly the atmosphere of calm has changed. Remember, it is a World Cup, I'm sure, coming up about self-control. Yellow cards will be a problem if England defenders get them, and there was no foul on Shilton. His own player, Mark Haitley, was the problem. But as the ball came back, in went Kirate very late. And Shilton, with his view somewhat masked, Trejo. And Shilton, very grateful, I would feel, but that came close to him through a pack of players and it was almost an instinctive grab. España. Aguirre filling the central attacking role at the moment. Negrete. And the shot from España. Maybe could have taken it on a yard or two further. As he tricked Butcher, but in fact the gap was closing. It was being a little harsh on him, and he let fly when he could. And here's Francisco Cruz. Dominguez is in the middle if he needs help. But the 19-year-old is foiled again by Shilton. But that's the talent of a veteran goalkeeper denying the precocious talent of a young forward who could have a major role to play in the World Cup. Dixon, it's a good turn. Terry Dixon scored twice here against the United States last season, at the end of last season. And after a rather barren run in league games towards the end of this season, Sansom. He does feel that he ought to get more goals. He's gone through a complete season with Arsenal, not missing a game, League or Cup, without getting on the score sheet. And he's only ever scored once in now 64 internationals for England. The sense of adventure is there. And Shilton this time can only get a left hand to it. Servine played it back. And Kirate, no goal. A foul on Shilton. And it wasn't dissimilar from an instance in the game between the two countries almost a year ago when Viv Anderson had a goal chalked off for jumping with the goalkeeper. So one day it goes for you, one day it goes against you. But was it a foul here by Kirate? on Shilton, the referee said so. In addition to the monetary rewards I was telling you about, of course, there are undisclosed figures for progress in the World Cup. And that's a give it. And, and savour their success. And they've avenged their last defeat. An unbeaten run for England extended to ten games, eight of which have now been won. A final score to thrill Bobby Robson. England three, Mexico nil.
the supporters who have made their way here and the Los Angeles English community seeing a triumph in conditions which will help the belief that victories can be achieved in heat even though Monterey